At the end of the topic, you will be able to narrate the history behind the discovery of the gravitational force, define the effect of gravitational force on objects, explain that a freely falling body experiences acceleration due to gravity, differentiate mass and weight of a body. It is difficult to say what gravity is. However, we can describe how it works. Relate how all the objects in the universe are under the influence of the same force. Isaac Newton realized that the motion of a falling apple and the motion of the moon were both actually the same motion caused by the same force, the gravitational force. Newton's Law of Gravitation Newton's idea was that gravity was the universal force acting between any two objects. The universal gravitational constant, g. The gravitational force, f, is the force of attraction between two particles of masses m1 and m2, separated by a distance r. Thus, f is directly proportional to m1, m2, by r squared. On replacing the proportionality sign, we get f is equal to g m1 m2 by r square, where g is the universal gravitational constant. On rearranging the terms, we get g is equal to f r squared by m1 m2. We could further define g to be equal to the gravitational force of attraction f exerted between the objects that have unit masses and are separated by unit distance. The unit of force is newton and the unit of distance r is meter and the unit of mass is kilogram. Substituting these, we get the unit of the universal gravitational constant g as newton meter squared per kilogram squared. The value of the universal gravitational constant g is found experimentally. The numerical value of g is 6.67 into 10 power minus 11. Newton meter square per kilogram square everywhere. Mass is the quantity of matter contained in a body. It is an inherent and fundamental property of the body. Mass is a property of an object that measures how much it resists accelerating. An object is difficult to accelerate because it has mass. Mass is independent of external factors like position and surroundings. Mass of a given body will be same at the equator as well as at the poles of the earth or anywhere in the universe. Weight is a force, an interaction between two objects involving a push or a pull. One of these objects is typically very big, the earth or the moon for instance. The weight of a body on the earth is defined as the force with which it is attracted by the earth. The weight W of a body of mass m on the surface of the earth is W is equal to mg. Now let us discuss the concept of weight, its units and its dependent quantities. Weight is the force of gravity on an object, W is equal to mg. The unit of weight is newton or kilogram meter per second square. Weight of an object depends on gravity, while the body mass is always the same anywhere in the universe. Let us learn more about mass in the following slides. Now we can differentiate mass and weight. Mass is the amount of matter present in a body. Mass is a fundamental quantity. Unit of mass is kilogram. Mass of a body is measured using a beam balance. Mass is a scalar quantity. Mass of a body remains the same anywhere in the universe. Weight is the gravitational force acting on a body. It is a derived quantity and its unit is kilogram weight or newton. It is measured using a spring balance. It is a vector quantity and it changes from place to place depending on the gravitational pull of the earth. Galileo was the first to state that all bodies at rest fall at the same velocity, regardless of their material, weight and volume. He dropped objects of different masses and sizes from the Leaning Tower of Pisa from the same height, all reached the ground at the same time. This was due to the fact that the air resistance is negligible in both the balls. Acceleration due to gravity, g. Let us look into the acceleration produced in a freely falling body. 
the uniform acceleration that a freely falling body experiences due to the gravitational pull of the earth is known as acceleration due to gravity and is denoted by g in other words when an object is dropped from a height it experiences uniform acceleration by the gravitational pull of the earth the acceleration does not depend on the mass of the object which is falling the force of gravity on m is by definition its weight thus the gravitational force on the apple equals the apple's weight mg where g is equal to 9.8 meter per second squared we know by newton's law of universal gravitation f is equal to g m m by r square equating both the equations and cancelling terms we get g is equal to g m by r square thus value of acceleration due to gravity g is independent of the value of the mass m of the body that is feather or coin or stone from the expression g is equal to gm by r square the mass of the earth can be calculated as follows m is equal to gr square by g m is equal to 9.8 into 6.38 into 10 power 6 the whole squared by 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 m is equal to 5.98 into 10 power 24 kg In this topic you have learned that Newton's law of gravitation describes the attraction between all bodies in the universe according to this law every body in the universe attracts every other body with a force which is directly proportional to the product of their masses and is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them therefore f is equal to g m1 m2 by r square The value of the universal gravitation constant g is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter squared per kilogram squared everywhere. The acceleration produced in a freely falling body due to gravitational pull of the earth is called acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration of a body towards the earth g is inversely proportional to the square of the distance of the body from the center of the earth that is r that is g is equal to gm by r squared the mass of a body m is the quantity of matter contained in it and its value is the same anywhere in the universe the weight mg of a body is the force with which it is attracted by the earth towards its center its value varies with its location on the earth its height from the earth and its depth